Hello. I said hello. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my goddamn YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you made it. I'd like to just take a moment to recognize the fact that we are almost at 14,000 YouTubers. <laughs> Fourteen thousand subscribers. Give it up for yourself. <laughs> Give it up for yourself. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Seriously though, thank you. I am genuinely grateful for each and every one of you who have taken the time to support me with the comment, with the subscribe, hit, with the follow, with the thumbs up, you know, whatever it is. I am so grateful and forever thankful that you have made it here and that, you know, now we got this little situation going on. You know, it's me and this ship. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is a family. Make yourself comfortable. Subscribe. Uh-huh. Subscribe now. Yeah, we need it done now. Thank you before things get started. Thank you. Do it now. Thank you. I, I don't need to say nothing else about it. I'm gonna go and get my water while you subscribe. Hold on one second. Do it. Is it done? Thanks. Anyway, girl. So today we're gonna be doing something fun because every time you know I try something new, it's fun, right? <laughs> God, I'm annoying myself, trust me, I'm, I'm just as annoyed. Today we are going to be trying the new, well is it new? Yeah, the great people over at Diva Curl sent me their entire line. This is a summer essential apparently. I'm excited. So this is the Decadence collection because they have other collections it looks like. As you can see, I don't know much about Diva Curl. This will be my first time using an entire line from them and my first time actually having an entire line from them. I've used things here and there but I've never used everything. So let's talk about that. I will be using their shampoo and the conditioner. This is a no poo shampoo. It has zero lather but it's ultra moisturizing and they're calling it a milk cleanser. Those are the key words girl. Anything that says milk anything I'm like okay that's moisturizing. Hold on with it. The zero lather thing, ugh, I'm not that big of a fan of because I like my shampoos to lather. I really feel like I'm getting the herbal essence wash of my life. And whenever I don't have lather, I just feel like, girl, like, okay, is it done? But whatever, that's just me. Uh, so the thing that I really like about the packaging, I'll just let you know, is that on all of the, on all of their products, they have this little section that says, is it for me? It gives you like a little, you know, well, do you blah, 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 do you da, 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 do you deal with this? Well, then it's for you. And I like that. That helps me decide if this is a product I should buy. So I'm sure that that'll be helpful if you're trying to decide if this is something for you. Basically, this line is just about extra more moisture and your hair really wanting that extra moisture, which my hair does. Because girl, when I take this bonnet off, I'm sorry. Oh no. Nope. Girl, I have not done my hair. I was supposed to wash my hair last week. It is Thursday, okay? That's first of all. Girl, life happens sometimes and things just get out of your hands or whatever and then you gotta go try and chase it in. So that's where we are now, girl. Um, because my hair is in the state that it's in, I thought this was the day I'm gonna try this line out because my hair is ultra dry and needs some ultra moisturizing so I wanted to try the decadence line what I have in my hand now is the wash day wonder and this is a pre cleanse slip detangler and y'all know I love me some detanglers this is what I'll use first it says before cleansing smooth onto soaking wet curls in sections ensuring the product is saturated throughout use your fingers to gently detangle from the bottom to the top wash out with your cleanser then condition and style as usual it's gentle enough to use on every wash day to make detangling easier. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see what it smells like. 
it smells good i think it smells good i'll tell you once i start using it yeah let's just hop right in last night i put the castor oil on my scalp i didn't do it all over the hair like i normally do but yeah let's get started my hair is literally so dry it's not even funny give me a sec i'm gonna go drench my hair in water and then i will be back all right Okay, so I just put in the Wash Day Wonder. This is the pre-cleanser. So it's supposed to melt tangles away, right? And it's supposed to be saturated throughout. It's suggested to apply it in sections. All the keywords that are necessary to make sure you don't fuck up. I went ahead and just like put it all over and now I'm just gonna go by section by section and make sure it's saturated with product. So the purpose of this step is so then when you wash your hair, your hair is detangled and you don't have to deal with it knotting up and stuff, even though it may still tangle up. I'm not taking my two week old hair and just putting it in the trenches. You know what I mean? Like I wanna kind of prep it a little bit before I start washing it. And I wanna try and get rid of some of these tangles and shedded hair before I start washing. Cause it's the shedded hair that'll get you cause it'll just start wrapping around everything else. I'm taking about that much for each section. I'm feeling it help me with pulling apart my knots. It's, it's doing its job. But so far so good. The smell is, it's faint. It's definitely not the type of slip where I can just like run my fingers right through my hair still. Maybe my hair needs to be more wet than this. It does say to apply on soaking wet hair. And even though my hair did come straight from the sink, um, my hair doesn't stay soaking wet. Like my hair dries very quickly. All right, when they say no lather, they meant it. <laughs> my hair is fully covered with the shampoo. The smell reminds me of like a baby shampoo. I'm actually really enjoying that. I like the lightness overall of like, so far the two products that I've used. The smells are just very light and just like clean. It's getting the shampoo through my hair because again, my hair was dirty. Now I didn't have like a lot of flaking or anything, which is great. I'm noticing that my scalp is definitely not as dry which is amazing. So now I'm gonna rinse out the shampoo and then we're going to get to the fun part, which is the conditioning. So conditioning and deep conditioning. So I'll see you in a second. Bye. Uh oh. All right, so now I have the conditioner in my hair and I am experiencing a little bit of kickback. There are some areas up at the front that are not taking to this conditioner very well. Like, it don't matter how much conditioner I add on, my hair is just like, girl, no, this is not doing the trick. Like, detangle-wise. It's not horrible. I'll tell you one thing I love about everything real quick, it's just the smell. It literally smells like baby shampoo. But this would not be my top pick for like um, a detangling conditioner like see all this right here it's not as easy as just applying it and it just melts everything away you really have to work it in the hair and then use it as a detangling tool you know this will help you detangle but you don't have to do the work okay you don't just put me on i'm not going to keep the conditioner in for super long like i'm literally about to rinse it out now so in total i'll probably have it in for like three to five minutes um and i'm not keeping it in long because there's a deep conditioner here. So this deep conditioner called Heaven in Hair, if you've never used it, welcome to the natural hair game because you must be new here. God, I'm lame. Nah, but this is just something I think every natural has heard of. Just a little update on my burnt hair. If you don't know, if you're new here, a little while ago I shared a story on here because girl, I was minding my own business and turned my head into a candle and girl, the rest is burnt. You know, get it like the rest is history. The rest is burnt. Whatever, anyway. So the little burnt part is here. Uh, we working on it though. First of all, when I rinsed that uh, conditioner out, my hair felt so soft. No lie, it felt very soft. So, okay. 
Okay. Okay, Diva Curl. Dang. Okay. Hey, what you want me to do? <laughs> so now I am adding in the deep conditioner, which is an OG. Girl, this is an OG. Now this is what I call melting away the tangles. I do think that with Diva Curl products, it seems like the wetter your hair is, the easier the product will be received. Now I'm just gonna put on my plastic bag and I'm gonna let this sit on there for a little bit. It says you should keep it on for, it actually doesn't have a time on it. Bam, deep conditioning done. Um, I had to switch shirts because my last one was wet and had product all on my back. Ain't nobody got time for back knee. You heard me. So now I'm just going to rinse out the deep conditioner, but before I do that, I'm just gonna slip this off and see what we are looking and feeling like. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna just rinse this off, and the next time I see you guys, we will start styling my hair. All right, honest first thought, and I feel like this has happened to me before with the Diva Curl um, deep conditioner, but my hair, is not as soft as I'd like it to be, like after I rinsed it out. I was expecting it to be a lot softer because of how soft it is when you're putting it in and stuff, but um, it actually feels a little stripped. Like, it feels a little stripped. It looks fantastic, but you know, just in terms of how it's feeling, it just, it feels like I need to hurry up and put product on my hair, so. Let's do that. So there are a lot of styling products that they sent that go with this line. This is the leave-in that I'm gonna use right now. And then I'm going to use the Super Stretch Define and Control to style. Of course my camera's gonna die right now. Of course it is. Leave-in has the same baby smell. I like how that's applying. It's just smoothing right on. I don't want to use too much of this though because I feel like it has a little bit of hold to it. And I'm just going to do my normal five twists. It's really thick. Really thick. I don't like when products need me to detangle with like a tool like that I need to use a comb or some kind of brush or something. I like to just be able to detangle with my hands. And if your product doesn't allow me that kind of slip, then I'm probably not gonna be in love with it. Which is kind of the case now. Like, I really like everything so far, but because I can tell my hair still needs to be detangled, I'm just getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed with the, you know, little tangles here and there. update it's the end of the night and well not the end of the night but girl it's night time it's been a couple hours my hair is still wet but i just wanted to you know show you guys what we're looking like this isn't gonna you know what this is not a good reflection of the products because my hair is still very wet so i'll just give you an honest how i feel because i pretty much know how my hair is going to turn out First things first, I like the products. That's first things first. What you should know is, I think there are some products in here that you should go out and try. The product I would suggest to you girls would be, and let me grab it. Oh, oh, hold on, wait the hell, wait a goddamn minute, now hold up. Everybody needs to calm down. The two products I would suggest to you girls is the Leave-In Decadence Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner and then the Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. Um, these were the products I used after I washed and conditioned my hair and I used this obviously as the leave-in and then I used this to twist up my hair. I really, really like this to twist up my hair. It's thick, it smells fabulous. My hair smells so good. Like, whew, it smells so good. I would just keep it right here. It literally smells that good. All in all, I did like the shampoo and conditioner. They just weren't game changers for me. And as far as the 
deep conditioner I just really like my deep conditioners to feel like they are giving me all the moisture I need and I'm not saying that that one didn't it just didn't do what some of my current favorites are doing so I'm just comparing it on that level you know I have a certain standard of moisture that I'm looking for and that didn't give me what I was looking for unfortunately so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. Until next time, peace.